Welcome to PADT, Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS certified channel partner, we sell and support the full suite of ANSYS tools in the Southwest United States across six states. Our headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona, and we have offices near Salt Lake City, Utah, Los Angeles, California, Denver, Colorado, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. In addition, we provide training, mentoring, and simulation consulting with these ANSYS tools worldwide. Good day, this is Joe Woodward from PADT. We've had a tech support issue come up a few times, so I thought I would just make a blog entry to get the workaround out to the user community. Here I have a thermal transient analysis onto which I have linked a static structural analysis so that it will transfer the temperature profiles as a boundary condition for the static structural. This is a simple transient with only one load step, but as you can see, the transient will solve it many time steps. So now I want to run the static structural at these same time points. We can highlight the entire column by left clicking on the gray column header and then right click to hit copy. Now I can go to the analysis settings for the structural analysis and instead of entering 15 load steps I can paste in the time values and it will set the number of load steps automatically. Now this is where the problem occurs. If I select the entire column the way I did before, when I paste, I only get the first two points. If I paste again, I get another entry. When pasting, you need to left click in the cell one and then right click to hit paste. Now that we have all of the load steps and the end times, we need to set those times in the imported load. Here again, if we highlight the entire column, the paste is incorrect. If we now do it correctly, there are still extra steps from the first operation. So I'll add a new imported load and delete this first one. If you just right click in the cell and hit paste, nothing happens. You have to first left click in the cell and then right click or just use control V to paste in the times. We now have all of the times incorrectly and we do the same for the analysis times. We now have a correct copy from the thermal transient to the static structural. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to call PADT Inc.